The fulcrum point. It is a point that goes by many names, such as trocar point, incision point, insertion point, or remote center of motion. But however you call it, it is a critical point in robotic minimally invasive surgery. The value of knowing this point depends on the application. For instance, the fulcrum point is required for aligning robotic mechanisms, for controlling passive wrist robots, or for initializing instrument segmentation algorithms. So, recognizing the value of this point, the topic of this work is on how to estimate it and on how to make optimal use of its properties. If the fulcrum location needs to be known for robot control, it is most straightforward to estimate the location from the kinematic data that is already available. From kinematic data, the instrument axis is known at different points in time. The intersection between these axes then yields the fulcrum position. In literature, a number of methods have been proposed to compute this intersection, but so far these lacked robustness and responsiveness. This work proposes an alternative method based on the extended Kalman filter. This graph visualizes the error in the fulcrum estimate as a function of measurement noise. It can be clearly seen that the proposed method, the red line, is very robust to noise when compared to the state of the art. Then, in this graph, we can see the evolution of the fulcrum error as a function of time. It is clear that the proposed method, again the red line, converges very quickly and that it rejects disturbances better than the state of the art. Now, I'd like to show that the fulcrum can also enhance the estimation of the tip position. In fact, there is redundant information for the tip position. It can be directly derived from the measured wrist pose or indirectly based on the fulcrum position. Both of these approaches have shortcomings, but their combination will eliminate these such that accurate, precise and high bandwidth tip position estimates can be obtained. In this video, you can appreciate these properties. It shows a slender instrument and a red dot indicating the result of the proposed tip estimation method. We can see that it is very responsive to instrument motion and it also does not suffer from the inaccuracies the green fulcrum based estimate shows. A closer look confirms that the noise in the yellow wrist based estimate is absent in the proposed red estimate. For more information, I welcome you to visit me at my poster presentation. Thank you for listening.